afternoon y'all welcome back to the channel well 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 what we got here i know i know i'm sorry i've been gone and since it's pride weekend here in dallas and it's also my birthday weekend i wanted to test out my skills and do a super colorful look yes of course let y'all know where the hell i've been but let's go ahead and get started and make sure you definitely subscribe below So the look I'm going to attempt today, keyword is attempt, is uh, one I actually saw by AKA Aisling. I'll put a picture of it somewhere around here so y'all can see it. I think it was in her video when she tried Brad Mondo's new hair color. I am gonna be adding some extra stuff so it's not exactly the same. As you can see, the brows are different. I thought it was a really cool look and I wanted to try it, honestly, just to see if I could. <laughs> Where have I been? Starters, I bought a new car. Wasn't exactly planned, so I'm trying to get used to the idea. Forgot to mention I used my gel pots from Beauty Creations to do my brows. To be honest, this is actually the second take of this. Unfortunately, I realized at the last minute that I had done my brows differently than I wanted to. <laughs> I had to clean it off and start over. But yeah, we've been having car problems for a while now. I think something's wrong with her. I don't know, I just got so overwhelmed that I needed to take some time kind of get my head together, you know? I finally get to try out their color primers and I'm actually really excited because I have not used these at all. I also thought a lot about the channel and kind of how I want to do things differently. On top of that, I worry about how I'm going to come across to people because I have one of those voices where I sound pissed off all the time, even when I'm not. I feel like people sometimes get the wrong idea about me, like that I'm bored or I'm, you know, boring or whatever, but... It's just the way I talk. Whenever I hear myself talk, I think of Daria. Any of y'all that was around in the 90s knows exactly what I'm talking about. One thing I'm going to be doing as far as this channel is concerned though, is I'm going to be going back to bi-weekly uploads. It's about the quality of the content, not necessarily the quantity. You know, if I ever get the chance to upload an extra video, of course I'll take it. I had to even everything out a little bit more. Sometimes when I cut the crease, the sides don't match. I need a new mirror, unfortunately. For some reason, it won't stay clean. At least cheaper mirrors tend to do that. Okay, so for this look, since it's obviously going to be extra, I'm going to be using my Lotus Eater Lashes from Penelope's Tears. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on really quick. Hopefully it doesn't take me more than a couple of tries, and I'll be right back. I managed to get them on okay. It's usually like a 50-50 chance I'll get them on right. I color correct real quick. I haven't gotten waxed in a while. A few days ago, I had a mustache and a goatee. You know what? I found out that I really don't care. This hair is natural, and, you know, I'm naturally hairy, so... I had to go to the store earlier to get cat food and I straight up walked in there with my bonnet and pajamas on. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I really didn't want to be there and I could care less what anybody in there thinks. Now my biological dad, he's got that mastered and I aspire to be that level of unbothered. You come at him with a bunch of nonsense, he's just going to look at you like. Honestly, I feel like that's what makes him a good dad. He thinks about things rationally instead of being emotional about it. And I try to follow that example because I mean, he's a pretty smart dude. I wish I had a rainbow highlighter, but this will have to work for now. I actually saw one from this company called Bitter Lace Beauty. Do me a favor and leave me a comment down below if y'all have ever tried them or if y'all think that'd be something cool to do a review on, let me know. So here's the finished look. I had a lot of fun trying to pull it off and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it was hard as hell. Stuff from Beauty Creations is pretty awesome. The only complaint I have about the gel pot is that it's hard to wash off. I actually mixed up some of the colors to make indigo and now I can't get it off my palette very easily. So, so let me know what y'all think down below and if y'all do any pride looks this month, feel free to tag me on Instagram so I can see them too. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.